Skyler. What? I think you know what. Negative 3 equals h. Plus h divided by 2. All right. Let's cut through the, dis the, the suspense here. And before we do anything, we'll be prudent to write h divided by 2 as 4. So divided by 2, let's just divide 8 by 2 and we'll have 4. Right? It's just order of operations. Even if there were a number there for h, like let's say h was 100, right? we'd still divide 8 by 2 first, right? Yeah. And get 4. And then add it to 100, h by 100. So since that would be in keeping with the order of operations that we all agreed to use, we'll go ahead and do that. So what's next? Why do minus 4 and then minus 4 and then 2? Okay, so why do you subtract 4? Because this is 0. zero. Now we like to have 0 added to our h because h plus 0 is h. h. And negative 7. h is negative 7. We don't have to really write plus 0. Negative 7. Next question. That Clint, 42. 42. Okay. So, one fourth of the girls uh, in this school are retaking their pictures for whatever reason. One eighth of boys are retaking their pictures for whatever reason. Uh, and, say 16, what is it? Yeah, 16 girls got. Um, 16 girls retook their pictures. And then like seven boys. Seven boys retook their pictures. Okay. Oh, that's really difficult. How many how many students are in the school is the question. And we want to set up some equations, even really really basic equations. We want to use equations, Aiden. Can you give me an equation we can use. <coughs> Find an equation then. How many equations we can use to solve? It can be pretty simple. Danielle? Um, well, since there is it's one fourth of the population, I guess, of girls. One fourth of the population of girls. One eighth of the population of boys. Uh -huh. Since um, to I guess cancel it out, you take. Um, 4 over 1 times 16, and then because you reverse it instead of divide. Uh, I don't know. It's really well, let's say we take 1 fourth times the number of girls, right? That'd be the same as a fourth of the girls, right? Yeah. How many is 1 fourth of the girls? It is 16. There's an equation, right? How do we solve this equation? Sim? Well, I was going to say, I took 16 times 4. I've heard 16 times 4 or 1 4 several times. I'm asking, how do we solve this equation? <coughs> divide by 1 4. To divide by fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal, so we would get a 1 here, right? G equals 16 over 1 times the reciprocal of 1 4, which is 4 over 1, and G. 64. It's not wrong to have multiplied 16 times 4, it's just we're trying to get into the world and the universe of equations and not just calculating. Yeah, I'll try to explain that, but I don't know. It seems like it would be sometimes to put things into an equation. It's a little tricky. Even though it's a really simple equation, it turns out it can be really tricky. And by the same reason, we get one eighth times all the boys is seven. And we would multiply by eight over one. That's another way to think of it. Right. B equals 56. And it was 56 boys, 64 girls. Add them together. Add them together. Plus 24. Plus 56. 
solve it. Why would you do the equation if you could just do 16 times 4? Because he's trying to Because he's faster. He's trying to have it. It's not about what's faster. If it was about what's faster, I would kick you all out of here, and I would do all these problems myself. That would be much faster. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but it's easier, too. It's not about what's easier. If I wanted everything as easy, I would kick you out, and I would do all these problems myself. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about doing the easiest thing. That's how we wind up in hover chairs and drinking our food out of cups. Yay! <laughs> it's not about what's easiest. It's about learning something new. And these are really simple equations to write. Equations can be really tricky to write. This is a really easy equation, and it was a little tricky to write. When it comes to writing equations, which sometimes you will have to do because just common sensing your way out of it is not practical. Okay? So we start when the answers and the ways to the answers are simple. Okay? And we learn something new and we build on that. Rather than creating a situation where the equation is absolutely necessary and you have no idea how to write equations. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to write an equation and not understand the situation. That's going to be a very difficult thing. Okay? Sometimes we have these situations, these, these scenarios where writing an equation is the only way to really make sense of it. And then solving that equation using these strategies is how we find the answer to the question. So be patient with yourselves. Give yourselves time to learn something new. Sim? Jessam? Yeah. And you do number four. Again. A tricky one as well. So we have um, some ants. We have the 4,800 milligram cherry. Uh, 32 ants. And it's number 50, which doesn't really have any units. See. Tell me about this number 50. Yeah? Well, see, so you know what I did. I no, no, no. Answer my question. Don't give me an answer I didn't ask for. Tell me about the number 50. Yeah. Daniela? 50 stands for how many times the ants can carry mm -hmm. the, it has to be like 50 times their weight. Right, so they are, they're very strong. They can carry 50 times their weight. If they're 10 milligrams, how much can they carry? doesn't really have a unit, but it does have a, you can attach a concept to it. Whatever they can carry, uh, or however much they weigh, they can carry 50 times as much. Okay. Now, don't tell me I did this, or I just did this, or I did this thing, or I don't care what you did unless you wrote an equation, because we're trying to familiarize ourselves with equations. Kyler, do you have an equation? Do you have an equation, Aiden? Yeah. What equation do you have? So, 32 x. 32 x. Yeah. 32 times 4,800. Equals 50. Equals 50. So, to explain this equation to us, why you've written it. So, it is 32 x. Well, first let's start with what does x represent? The ants. The ants. And the weight. Of all the ants? One. Of one. Okay, so weight of one ant. That's good to know. Weight of single ant. And married ants. Yes? 32 times that, why? So if x is the weight of one ant, what would 32 times x represent? The question again is, what would 32 times x represent? The question is not what you did or something else besides the answer to the question. What would 32 times x represent, Mom? Um, it represents the weight of all of the ants. Okay, so we have x is the weight of one ant, 
Okay, 32 <laughs> times an ant is the weight of a big old pile of ants that I don't have time to draw. Right? 32 ants. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a bush. It's not a bush. That's rude. <laughs> You can put dogs on it. Little antenna sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a grassy dirt. Um, so 32x is how much all the, the mass of ants weighs. Okay. So they weigh that much. And what does 48 rep 4800 represent? The cherry. So if I take the weight of the ants add the weight of the cherry. Should I get 50? Hmm. Seems like a weight plus a weight should be some kind of a weight, right? Right. This is almost a weight, except for this is how many times one ant they can carry. But we're starting to make sense of stuff. I mean, this makes sense. That seems to be like an important thing, the weight of all of the ants, right? The weight of the, the cherry. Okay. Let's uh, go with Danielle. Uh, well, for me, right. I didn't quite do it that great way because I did write an equation though, right? Yes, okay. I didn't quite understand it. Um, so I just did 4,800 4, divided by 32 um, times 50, I think. I can't remember. So you like multiply this by 50? Which I think is what I did, I can't quite remember. Equals uh, x is your yeah. equation. Okay. Now, this is this is an equation. It's pretty much like what I did to find x, right? But it is an equation. Yeah. But okay, let's talk about forty-eight divided by thirty. Forty-eight hundred divided by thirty-two. What does that represent? Yeah. Forty-eight hundred divided by thirty-two. Daniela, what does that part represent? It represents the. Um, Weight of the cherry divided into the um, ants. Uh huh. Weight for each ant. For each ant. So 4,800 divided by 32, I think, is 150. So what about 150? You divided by. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Divided by 30. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 4,800 divided by 32. Divide this by 50? Yes. Divide that by. But let's just stay on. What does it mean? 4,800 divided by 32, oh. if that's the number 150, then what is the importance of the number 150? Um, each ant. Each ant has to carry 150 milligrams. Good, so this, this uh, 4,800 milligrams divided by 32 ants, well, that's how many milligrams per ant has to be carried, right? Uh, then if we multiply that by 50, so that wouldn't work. So we said, let's fix that by taking Dividing it. Right. the amount that each ant has to carry, right? Which, if we think about that, the amount that each ant has to carry, let's think of like a little piece of that cherry, this little slice, okay, uh, that's being carried by a single ant, right? Each ant has to carry one of these essentially, right? Mm -hmm. right? And this we just discussed is 150 milligrams. Oh, okay. Right? But that's how much this thing weighs. How much does the ant weigh? Oh. <coughs> Don't tell me a number. Tell me how much the ant would have to weigh without telling me the number that the ant weighs. A 50th of this guy. If we could divide by 50, which is 3. So we divide this by 50. Good. How about this equation? Oh. Whoop. We have a different equation? Yeah. Whoops. Oh gosh, where do I know? I don't want a new page. Oh. <coughs> okay. Now. Molly, you have a different equation? Yeah. I um did I have two but they're the same thing. Um well, they'll all, as long as they all come out with three, right? They are all the same thing. Yeah. Um, 32x uh -huh. times um, 50 uh -huh. equals uh, 4,800. Or you could do 50. Well, let's just talk about this for a second. <laughs> let's talk about this. Uh, X is how much? Is, is what represents what? Um, the weight of one ant. Weight of one ant? Yeah. Okay, the weight of one ant times 32 would be. How much all the ants? 
all the ants weigh, okay? So all the, if you take all the ants and you, you pile them up and you weigh them, that's how much they weigh. Times 50, why times 50? It's how much they can all carry. Right, so we have this, this amount of ants, this weight of ants, and what they can carry is 50 times that, right? And what are they carrying? The cherry. The cherry, which weighs? 4,800, right? No. They, they should be able to carry, like this should represent the total amount that they can carry, and we know they are carrying a total of 4,800 milligrams. Does that make sense? Yes. Or, Molly? Or uh, 50 X mm -hmm. uh, times 32 equals 4,800. Okay, so this makes sense, but in a different order, right? Yeah. The weight of one ant? Mm -hmm. Times 50. Times 50 represents. How much the one ant can weigh. How much the one ant can weigh, or how much the one? I'm not weigh. Can you carry? How much it can carry times 32 would be how much 32 can carry. I think it carry 4,800. Kyler. Uh, all right. So uh, this is going to be a little easier way, I think. Well, I'm not looking for the easy. I'm way. not saying the easier way. I'm sorry. just said. <laughs> <laughs> that I could go. But how come you couldn't just do 32x divided by? 4,800. Wait. <laughs> yeah, 4,800. And then divided by 4,800. 50. 32x divided by 4,800. Yeah, and then divided by 32. That's exactly what Daniel was saying. 4,832. So he's going to slow down. Uh, it's not quite what Daniela said. Uh, he just flipped it. Kill? <laughs> well, no. Okay. Nah. See what I'm saying? It's not the same. Stuart? It's not the same. It's like you take 32 divided by 48 and get 150, and then you'll divide no, that by 50. 32 divided by 48 is not 150. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Let me what is going on there? Okay, do 32. Divided by 3,800. I'm not that quick. You get to look out for this. 4,800. That's one second. Okay, 32. Oh, see, you know what I got? I did backwards. That's what I did. I did 4,800 divided by 32. Like I, instead of do, yeah, but that gets 150, then you divide by 50, and that gets you three. I'm gonna stop talking to you if you're using that accent. I don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> the accent. That's, yeah, that's what Daniel was saying. Five, <laughs> 50, just a little Ah, there's the five. Is that for Western Day, you know? He's up, yeah. So, yep, that's what Daniel was saying, so. <laughs> Good job hey. repeating words. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, these are all great. Uh, so we didn't do anything though yet, did we? No. No. So this one turns out not quite to work. Uh, this one, we can just do that and you'll find x. Let's solve this equation. Let's try that. Not tell me the answer. We should do the steps to solve the equation. Yes? Um. You can uh, divide 50. Divide by or, 50. Or there's enough, you could do 50 times the 32x, and then you can get whatever 50 times 32 is. Then times 32. 1,600. Sure. 1,600x. Let's someone do that for me. Because the 50 times 32 is supposedly 1,600. So. 3,600 divided by, or sorry, what did you say? 1,600? Yeah. Okay, 1,600 divided by 1,600 is? One. One is one x. And 4,800 divided by 1,600? Is three. Is three. So one ant weighs three kilograms. I got that. Exactly the same thing here, divided by 1,600, because it's also 1,600. Or like what I was doing at the beginning, to divide 
don't know what it is. <laughs> and then, 150 again. Yeah, and then you would um, divide that by 32. That can't be 100. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Divide by 32 is 3. That would work as well. Clint? Oh, so you like probably 15. Mm hmm. Or uh, 15. Which one was that? Uh, that one was 41. I don't know. I just wrote 15 from 1.2. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Should have put that base in parentheses. Perfect. Molly? Can we go over 14? I want you to do 17. Or 12. So 17 comes mm -hmm. after 14. Mm -hmm. Or 9. Mine. This is a trace. Yeah, let's do all of them. Because even all of them. I'm not going to jump more. I'm going to jump more. I'm going to jump more. I'm going to jump more. Hey guys, it's called pay attention to the clock. That's how many times we have to stay after. It is? It's not. It's how much time you've wasted. Yeah, I can. So far it hasn't been bad, but you've wasted ten, ten seconds. Oh. Now we're wasting more. It's on me. So this house is 26 feet tall. The diagram shows us that from here to the roof is six feet tall. And each of the stories is the same height, right? Like the, if you stood here, the ceiling from floor to ceiling would be the same height as on the second floor. So we don't have to do this one. Somebody said 14. No, we didn't have to do this. We, no, we didn't. We didn't have to do 14. No, there's 11 to 13 and 14. Yeah. 16, so. Oh. True. We didn't have to. True but though. let's do it really quick. Yeah. This would be x tall and this would be x tall. Can we write an equation? No. Oh. From here to here is the same as from here to there. <coughs> well, the, the house is just 26 feet tall. Does it matter what the base is? Um, We're just trying to figure out how tall each story is, not like the area or something. Oh, so you do six plus x. Wait, for instance, x equals three. No? I don't remember doing this part. Because you did six plus x. Plus x again should be equal to 
26. What's x plus x? X squared. X. X. 2x. 2x. Wait. Mm. Close. Mm. X times x is x squared. Oh. oh. We'll subtract the roof, right? Subtract off the roof, and we're just left with the two stories. Should total up to 20. So we'll divide by 2. X must be 10. I don't remember doing that problem. Yeah. You didn't. Oh my gosh, Tyler. No. 15, 17? On the first show, which might be like a play or a concert, 2,580 people show up. On the second show, 2,920 show up. Now, let's imagine the third show hasn't happened yet, and uh, you're in charge of getting people in there, right? Maybe you get paid based on how many people show up that weekend. To get a, a bonus, you've got to have an average of 3,000 people per night, okay? It's 35,000. Hey, great. Not looking for an answer. The answer was on the page that was on the board when you came in. Not impressive. So let's write an equation that we can solve for the third night's attendance. Aiden? We find averages, right? Add up the numbers and divide by how many numbers there are. And that equals 3,000. We know that that's supposed to be the average. So then we solve for x. Let's solve this equation for x, and we'll know the attendance that we need to have. Aiden? 2,580 plus 2,920 is 5,500. 5,500, yeah. <laughs> plus x. Over three equals three thousand. <coughs> to get rid of the three. To get rid of the three. I did three over one times one. Multiply by three over one. And then yeah, that's nine thousand. So three divided by three is one. So we're just left with fifty five hundred plus x equals nine thousand. Subtract 5,500, and of course we'll get 3,500. That's a great equation. I, I got that one. You might have uh, said to yourself, well, I know that if we're going to have an average of 3,000, then if I add all of these up, it had to be equal to 9,000. Like maybe you wrote 9,000 over here before. Like that's how you wrote your equation, perhaps, like if you started. Uh, here pretty much and that would work as well. This is the way I think because I just think how would I average it out if I knew uh, what the third night's attendance was? I would add it up, divide by three, and I know I'm supposed to get three thousand. Clint, can we do it, love man? Yeah, we Which one are we doing? 11. The one that I wrote up on the board there? Okay. 21 times 2 minus x plus 12x equals 44. What? Yes? Oh, I'll do it. Wait, you, I thought you were saying. We know what? how to do these. Wait, wait are you? I'm very close. In the bathroom. Something that we can do <coughs> besides dating. Carrying right. all of you right now. Oh, Sarah, I can do it. Oh, uh, got a distributive property. Distribute that 21. 42 minus 21x plus 12x equals 44. Grace? Uh, you could add a negative 21 plus 12. True, and that would be negative. 9x, so 
42 minus 9x equals 44. Is that? Then you take 9 minus 42. On both sides? On both sides. 42. And then you divide 9 from both sides. And I don't know what you get. Negative, negative x equals 2 over 9. No, it's a negative. No, it's over negative 9, 9 from both sides. Oh, divide by negative 9, that changes yeah. things. Negative 9 divided by negative 9 is positive. 2 divided by negative, that's a negative 2 ninths. Yeah. Wait, I made it in the decimal. <coughs> it's oh, that's why I didn't get right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But then you can do point 0.22 root Point two repeat, right? I suppose if you must, you can. You think you're the only one talking. You're wrong. Me? You start talking, somebody else starts talking, everybody's talking at a low level, but it's disrupting us. Molly? Um, so... The 2 divided by negative 9, and it becomes negative 2 over 9. Mm -hmm. It just changed the whole fraction into negative. negative. Yeah, because we have uh, just like a positive times a negative is a what? Oh, a it's negative. A negative. So a okay. positive divided by negative is a negative. Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, because I always. Wondered, um, what to do with those terms. Whether you write uh, negative two ninths or negative two over nine or two over negative nine or negative the fraction two ninths, yeah. they're all the same. They're all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Oh. Yeah. Negative divided by positive, a negative number. Right here's the number, it's negative. Positive divided by negative. Is a negative. There's a the number two ninths. It's a negative number. Whoa. Other questions? Okay. And then let's put everything away. Okay. Uh, first, I'll combine five x and negative three x and get two x plus two equals eighteen. Subtract two. Two x equals sixteen. 8 divided by 2 on both sides. Here we have 3 times over. We're going to stay as long as it takes, so just sit tight. <coughs> sit tight. So, so we've just run three, like three different days, a mile each. We want to average 5.4. Okay. After we run one more time, so we would add up all of our times. Plus the one we don't know yet. Then we multiply by 4 on both sides. Okay, get 21.6. Oh, I did that. 5.5 5 plus 5.7 plus 5.3 5 plus x. Add all those three together, subtract that from both sides, and we have x. Okay? Goodbye. Have a good day. Yeah, I tried that. I just